All right, guys, maybe you're thinking about buying the ICOM 705 uh, as your first real HF radio. Um, I love the features on this. I love the fact that it is HF plus UHF, VHF, and D-Star all in one package. The only thing it doesn't have is a powerful amp. So if it's all about just plugging an amp in, I, my opinion, this uh, Elocraft KXPA 100 amp is the perfect companion amp for the 705. It tunes a fence post. These things are amazing. But yeah, this thing is made to hook up to the Elocraft KX3 and KX2. So how do you hook this up to your 705? Well, luckily, Amazon got you covered. Uh, I picked this up for just a few dollars. I use one end over here that goes to the amp, one end here that goes to the radio, and uh, hey, I've got a 100 watt ICOM IC705. <laughs> The cable that I am using right now is this little guy here. I got it on Amazon. It was just a few dollars. 3.5 millimeter jack. This is what's going inside of the, uh, or on the side of the 705. The white one here is going into the PA side on your Elecraft amp. On the side of your 705, you've got a series of 3.5 millimeter connections. Up here, you have your tuner and your send ALC. Both 3.5 millimeter connections. This goes into the ALC. The tuner section is going to be left blank here for this one. You're not going to use it. You need... Uh, RFN, back of your 705. Antenna 1. That'll be uh, for, obviously, Antenna 1. And if you have another antenna, you can go ahead and hook that up there. And you could switch them with the mode button here. You're going to obviously need power. And uh, Elecraft amps take power poles. The only other thing you're going to need is the um, phono plug side of this cable. And that is going in here. I can't see it. I can't see it, so you're just going to have to trust me. Plug that into the PA key, the red side. Just leave it alone. And that's it. That is the sum total of the connections to the back of the amp. Now, obviously, on the front of the amp, uh, you're going to have to manipulate the on-off switch manually. And for every time you want to tune, you're going to have to hit the tune button. Uh, if you're using a key, put this thing in auto, and it'll, uh, it'll go ahead and work really nice. If you're using FM, I would use manual. That works, uh, works well in the manual mode. It'll also work in the auto mode. Here's the, uh, the side of my IC705. I've got my uh, POV cage on here. I have my wind camp antenna mount. This makes life very, very easy uh, because I don't have to put any adapters on any of my PL259s. The hookup here on this amp couldn't be any more straightforward. Antenna one over here, this one is going out to uh, uh, to my dipole that's strung up between the trees. Antenna 2, not hooked up right now at all. And RF in uh, is running here back into the wind camp right up here. And that wind camp is hooked up 
to my 705. So that's really kind of it for the hookups. I have this hooked up to the ALC jack, not the tuner jack. Very important. I'm going to turn my radio on. I'm going to manually turn on the amp. 1.5. Let me... Okay, so turn that on to auto, run that up. Let's go back over here. Run that on to auto. And there you go, you're tuned. Suppose you just don't have an external keyer for your radio. Uh, you're not a CW guy. You're kind of new to this. You're going to operate, say you're a tech, and you're intending to operate only on 10 meters between 28300 and 28500. Uh, Back to my demo, and uh, I'm going to unplug the keyer because now we don't have... We don't have a keyer. We're out in the field. We just don't have anything. We're going to go up to 28 and I'm going to go to FM. I'm going to hit the tune button. I'm back in the auto. Key the mic. And I'm pretty well tuned. Let me go up and do this again. Now I'm tuned again on 10 meters. I can do that here on any band. You can go to FM, hit the tune. Boom. We're tuned. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it the like, give it the thumbs up. And I know, hey, you could give it the thumbs down because those don't count anymore on YouTube. <laughs> Go ask me why. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm just a few away from 38,000. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but hey, to me, it's kind of a cool thing. The most important thing you can do is share these videos. Uh, YouTube isn't promoting small creators like me, so I need you to help me promote me. Anyway, guys, if you like the content here, again, leave a comment and let me know uh, what you want to see on the channel. I'm trying to kind of do viewer requests now and answer your questions here on the channel. I've got nothing else. I'm Bob K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.